Hi everyone, my name is Paul Burnett Bloomer and this is my page, Bloomer Living With Demons, raising awareness on mental illness and the stigma attached, helping to break it down and yeah, help others out there, whoever you may be. It's good to, to reach out and uh, educate each other. Um, I wanted to share my daily routine for a while now, but you know, with lockdown and things being a bit up and down regarding my mood and my medication and stuff. Uh, but good, I'm finally in a stable structured routine. I have been for the last um, couple of months. Uh, so I'm able to share it with you and hopefully inspire you guys. A anything medication related, should always you should always consult a psychiatrist or your GP regarding current medications. Um, you know, this is mainly for peer-to-peer -peer support. Um, but, you know, um, it can help. If I had someone to listen to, if I had someone, uh, someone's story to sort of um, be inspired by or, or gain some information from, then, you know, I would have coped a lot better. Um, so I do aim to get to bed quite early on a night and get, gain about eight, nine hours um, sleep if I can do. But that comes with, with um, the end of the day routine. But I usually start my routine by getting up about half past five, um, between half five and half eight, depending on um, what I've got going on. Um, if the small animal boarding business is busy, that that generally keeps me um, busy throughout the day, each day. And it's really therapeutic to be looking after other people's animals, um, as well as my own, each day. Um, but medication wise, I wake up and I usually take um, my sodium valprate, which is the mood stabiliser I've been on for four months. Um, so I take that in the morning. And that generally regulates my mood and it has been doing for um, about four months now. Uh, I do feel the effect positively. So sodium valprate does bring you down from the mania, so from the manic side of things. Um, so, you know, the likes of overspending, you know, drinking to excess, um, just self-destructive behaviours, it, it kind of brings you down from that. Also, um, I've dropped from... Um, the highest dose of um, a drug called sertraline. I've done a previous video on it. Um, I've dropped from that after seven years from 200 to, un to 100. And then for four weeks now, I've been on just the 50 milligrams. So I should be dropping off that in the next week, gradually tapering off it. And also, since the beginning of the year, I've been doing a mood diary. You know, I can't, I, I can't reiterate enough um, how much this has helped me trap my moods and my medications and stuff. So I've been doing it each day. You can pick these up, guys, off the internet. You pick these up in bookstores and stuff. Um, it just, it just helps you with your day to day. Sort of document what you do, how your moods fluctuate, and how you've been feeling throughout the day. It just. You know, when you visit psychiatrists and psychologists and therapy and stuff, um, they always seem to ask um, these things, you know. So the, the more evidence you've got regarding your mood, because if I didn't have the mood diary, you know, I couldn't exactly be able to, to define periods of highs and lows as well as, um, as I could with a mood diary. Also, you know, to help my, with my well-being, I take multivitamins each day and also a drug, a beta blocker called propanolol, which um, prevents palpitations that you get from symptoms of anxiety. And also it helps, you know, if you've got high blood pressure and other health conditions. Um, the, the gyms in England have been open now for a week. I've been going to the gym again using the treadmill and other machines. Um, to kind of burn calories, get that natural serotonin boost, um, and I feel a lot better. I've I've lost a little bit of my lockdown weight, which I'm I'm happy about. Um, and also today I'm going to go for a swim in the gym, so I'm mixing up a bit between the gym and the swimming. And also I love going for walks. Um, I never go alone. I go with a friend, and then I go to the gym generally with my partner. 
um, to give each other that support. You know, the friend provides the support and my partner provides the support um, that I need to encourage me. We we'll encourage each other to, to exercise and get out there. Um, so I find generally with the animals, it keeps me busy and with the gym and stuff, you know, relatively the diet has improved. You know, you need to eat well, you need a lot of fruit and veg in your diet, you need your vitamins. Um, and also what, whatever works for you guys. I mean, if it's, if it's healthy for your body, then it's healthy for your mind generally. Um, it's good to, to sort of keep yourself safe and, um, just look after yourself because you need, you need to document, um, your moods and things because you know, they're, they're on everything. Everything is controlled by how you feel. Um, and if your thought processes are just interlinked and confusing and, you know, getting you down, bringing you anxiety, bringing you the depression, then um, it's always good to adapt change into your life. Finding the motivation can be hard, but, you know, there's only you that can that can really, really be your strength and provide, um, provide you with um, the encouragement and the motivation you need to just, just to get there. Um, always have a support network. Always have good friends and good people around you, you know. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm really blessed that I've got, um, a lovely partner, an encouraging partner, you know, someone who supports me and I've got some lovely friends, you know, I don't need too many. I've got a select few who, who just check in on me, make sure I'm okay. Um, and it's good. Yeah, it's good. Um, regarding the mood stabilizer, I take, I take another dose in the afternoon that kind of prevents any sort of symptom symptoms worsening in the afternoon into evening um and then when i sort of when it's time to wind down i take a drug called um metazapine so metazapine um you know it encourage it encourages appetite uh, so it is it is a weight gainer as such because of the the aspect of encouraging to eat making you hungry but it's a it's a selective serotonin um, drug as well as sertraline, so it can uh, it can help your mood, you know. So so since I'm coming off sertraline, and sertraline wasn't very good with regulating the mania, um, because it it make it worse. So the metazapine does help um, substitute that. Plus, it's got a sedative effect, so it's got an antihistamine in it. A drowsy antihistamine so if you don't generally you can speak to your doctor about this but if you don't generally want to opt for the medication then you could take providing you know what your job is and things you can take a, a drowsy antihistamine at night to help you get off to sleep and this really works for me this helps me get off to sleep at night and it has been doing since february so um the, the crucial main points is to ensure that you get a good night's sleep ensure that you're exercising Ensure that you're consulting with your doctor and your loved ones regarding your ongoing treatment plan, you know, because um, everyone's different. Everyone will, you know, react to certain medications differently, react to exercise differently, you know, um, but you do generally need um, some sort of plan in place. I mean, guys, I, I was not one for routine. I was very anti-routine, um, you know, I'd go against go against the grain, you know, think that I knew better. I'd think that I, you know, this wasn't for me. Um, but now I've adapted routine and structure into my life, regular exercise, better diet, you know, the animal therapy, and I've made some life, life, um, life changing decisions, you know, leaving my, um, career in the NHS, the health service, um, you know, but, I was lucky enough to make that choice, um, be able to make that choice. But, um, you know, I'm always here, guys. Drop us a message if you need me. But that is my part of my daily routine and has been for the last um, four to six months. So moving on, moving forward, hoping to, to be, um, hoping post-COVID life will be as positive as I think it's going to be. Um, I've also got therapy coming in the form of some intense therapy, which, 
which I'm glad I'm well enough now for. So, you know, you've got to be well enough for therapy. Um, so thanks for listening, guys. Um, and it's good to catch up. Speak soon, yeah?